This year has been one of struggles for sea lions and other marine mammals. But what's the issue? It's an El Nino year, and the warmer water is sending fish further out to sea looking for cooler temperatures, and sea lion moms are following them. This leaves their pups to fend for themselves for longer periods of time, and these curious animals eventually venture out on their own to find food. Without yet learning the necessary skills to survive, they sometimes end up tired and hungry on the beaches of California. Someone called in a small sea lion pup, which just turns out what it is. It's a California sea lion pup. First they'll come out and they'll check out, do a little investigation and see if in actuality it is a sea lion or a seal that might need to be rescued. Uh, this case it is a small underweight sea lion, but it does have a good reaction. So when Hanford went and walked around the sea lion giving it its space, it was alert, it was reactive, and it had good things, which is a good sign for its uh, mental state. This is where the Marine Mammal Center in Sausalito, California steps in. The Marine Mammal Center is a hospital committed to expanding knowledge about marine mammals, the health of their environment, and inspiring global conservation. Their core work, however, is the rescue and rehabilitation of sick and injured marine mammals, such as the California sea lion, elephant seals, harbor seals, and the Guadalupe fur seal. The Houston Zoo is also committed to saving animals in the wild, and when we heard they needed help, the zoo sent two staff members to volunteer for a week with these amazing animals. When an animal is found on the beach, the Marine Mammal Center receives a call and immediately dispatches a team of volunteers to assess the animal and see if it's in need of medical care. The animal is assessed, and if it's sick or underweight, it is picked up by the volunteer team to receive medical care until it's healthy enough to be re-released into the wild. So this is the tubing kitchen and what this is all about is creating fish formula or what we call fish milkshakes for our patients. So most everything starts with a frozen herring fish base where we mash up frozen herring and then add water and sometimes salmon oil and sometimes powdered milk depending on the patient that's involved. So we load um, the formula based on the veterinarian's instructions of how much and what is included in the fish milkshake and then the tubing crew actually takes it out from here to the pen and um, gives it to the patients. Tube feedings are common for elephant seals that are underweight or have not yet learned to swallow, a behavior taught to them by their mom. First, the animal is restrained so as not to harm itself or the volunteers helping take care of it. Once it's safely in place, volunteers begin the tube feeding process. Don't worry, the elephant seals aren't harmed in any way. The thin tube is nothing compared to the whole fish they swallow in the wild. Healthier patients, like these California sea lions, get free feeds where fish are thrown into their pens for them to eat in a way more similar to what they'd experience in the open ocean. Once the morning feed is complete, cleaning begins and the entire process starts all over again for lunch and dinner. Once each patient receives a good bill of health, plans are made for the sea lion release. A happy day for the volunteers and staff who have cared for them. All this work is done for the survival of these animals and for their eventual release into the wild. The Houston Zoo is proud to have helped such an amazing effort to save animals in the wild.